Hi guys, this is a old Whacker with a Kohler engine on it. Uh, made in the USA, but I got an issue. This is an old points engine too, but I was just putting fuel in it and uh, I got a stuck float because uh, all my fuel was dripping out. Um, it almost looks like it was coming out of the fuel fill there, but you can see there's some thread on. There's some, um, uh, what do you call it, tape on those threads, so I don't think it's leaking there. Uh, I'm thinking it's just a float bowl. So what I'm going to do is pull the float off and clean it up, see if it's sticking. If not, I'll have to buy a new kit for this, which I don't even know if I can get it because it's an old Kohler. Uh, if you guys have experience with these things. Let me know. We modified this last year too for asphalt and uh, I just got some old hose and drilled holes in it. Made a T and then we had this old water tank here and it's just on a piece of wood. It gets the job done. I had to uh, cut the uh, cut this switch because it was vibrating off the bottom and knocking the tank off so it leaks, but hey, it works and it was cheap and we got our driveway done last year, so. All right, I'll show you guys uh, how I come along with that car. All right, so we know we're leaking fuel here and I can't really tell where it's coming from. So the first thing I'm gonna check is this fuel insert here. I know it has Teflon tape on it, but I'm just gonna snug it up. You always start with the cheapest fix first. I'm going to do it in two locations. I don't want to twist that fuel cable too much because it still has to flow freely, but we'll give it both of them a little twist here. And this is my fuel switch right here, so I'll turn that on and see if I'm leaking. It should fill up the carburetor, and if the float is stuck, we'll know in a second because it'll start leaking. Yep, it's leaking out the intake. There's all my expensive fuel. Okay, so we know the leak is not in the petcock valve, the shutoff valve, or our fittings. So the next thing we're going to do is pull off this air guard here. There's actually an air filter that goes here, right there. It has a single... Um, screw to hold that on and we have two flatheads we're gonna take this off so that we can get to our bowl which is where the carburetor pulls the gasoline from so it doesn't have to pull it from the tank it basically has a reserve and it has a float inside of it which is usually plastic or I've actually seen wooden ones or cork ones. And uh, if that float has a crack in it, it could be filling with fuel and leaking. And this one also has two screws on the side. And they are flathead screws. So I'm gonna take those off and I'll show you guys how to pull your bowl off. Okay, your float bowl nut is on the bottom here. Uh, it's a half inch. Make sure you're going lefty loosey, counterclockwise, and it shouldn't be that tight. Don't ever tighten it when you put it back on, and it's going to drip fuel. It's a good idea to have something down there to catch it. There was actually a lot of water in here, and you could tell that uh, you might not be able to see it, but there's a pool of milkiness at the bottom of this. That's uh, water. Um, could be caused by ethanol in the fuel. This thing sat for a while. And something is up with this float because it's catching. See how that's stuck? It'll move and then it, it gets stuck. So I kept playing with it and it gets stuck on something. That might just be because I'm overextending it and it's pulling the float out. 
I like to do a quick fix first instead of pulling out the gasket. I'm gonna just get some carb cleaner here. And spray it all up in there, right where the needle sits. I have some other videos on Tecumseh repairs and you'll be able to see where the needle is. I'm just gonna move that around. How this works is when there's less fuel in the bowl, this thing will sink. Your float will sink down like that. And that pulls a pin or a needle out of its seat. And what that does is allow fuels to fuel to flow and fill up the bowl. The right where you put the nut in is actually where it'll suck fuel up to the needle and it'll spray that and vaporize it. And that's how you um, get your injection basically of fuel. Uh, what we want to do is try to clean the gunk out of there so that this doesn't stick anymore. And the proper fix for this is to pull this off. I'd probably pull the whole carburetor off and get a new needle and a new um, seat. It's basically a little gasket. And you can use a drill bit to pull it out. I have an, Again, I have another video on how to, how to do that. So I'm just going to blast some more in here while we have this apart. And what we're going to do now, I'm all about the quick fix. So I'm going to clean out this bowl. Get a clean rag. Clean all that crap out of there. We don't want that to clog up our system again or if it will in the future. And then we're just going to reassemble it. The reason for this is if all that float needed was just to be broken free, so it didn't stick in the open position, we could have freed it and that will solve our problem temporarily. The long term fix is to, like I said, get a new needle and a new seat and a new float bowl uh, gasket as well. Okay, so this will show us if this is going to work. We're going to crack the petcock and it should fill up the bowl and it should shut off whenever that float goes up and it shouldn't leak. Jiggle it around a little bit in case that float's gonna stick on us, we'll know. This thing vibrates like crazy. And we are leaking at the bottom. Snug this up a little bit. Not too tight, you don't want to strip the threads out. Right now, that's fuel coming out of the, the side, so we're definitely going to need a gasket on here. And all the paint's coming off. You know what? It is not leaking like it was before. You saw it before. So I'm going to continue and reassemble this, and then we will test it out and see if it doesn't leak under load. Under load meaning with the engine on. Alright guys, I know it's dark, but I'm going to start up the whacker. Turn the choke on. <laughs> 